Okay, welcome to Sai Medha ESET Coaching Center online classes. Today I want to start the topic partial fractions. So the name of the topic is partial fractions. So, first basically, we have to think of your syllabus point of view. So, the weightage of the topic is generally two marks. And uh, first we want to think of what is meant by a fraction. So, if you want to say about fraction, first we want to think what is meant by a polynomial. For example, if you consider f of x is a polynomial which is given by a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and so on an x to the power n this is considered as a polynomial so if you say what is polynomial which is nothing but having some degree where n is called the degree of the polynomial and x is the variable. So if you consider and you can understand that n is the polynomial degree and the highest to power. For example, you can say x to the power 5 plus 4x to the power 4 minus 7x cube plus 3 and you can say polynomial or seven. So if you see this polynomial, it is having the highest power of the variable is 5. Therefore, we can say that its degree is 5. If you know the degree of 5, in further thing about the partial fractions, the degree also very very important. With respect to that degree only, we can define what is meant by a partial fraction. So if you want to say about partial fraction, first I want to consider a rational function. What is meant by a rational function? Which is nothing but a function that is in the form of f of x by g of x. f of x by g of x where f of x and g of x are the polynomials and one more important point is g of x should not be equal to 0 what happens if it is 0 if it is 0 something by 0 is not defined so that that is the very important condition to consider a rational function if we consider a rational function, if we have a rational function, simple something numerator, something denominator. We have a function, a rational function. In that, there are two types. One is called a proper fraction. Proper. I think we only need to tell you but once again, because foundation which starts I am giving what is meant by a proper fraction. Proper fraction is nothing but degree of numerator, degree of f of x is less than the degree of g of x. And the other way to the main the degree and the numerator low power thakku ga undali, denominator low power ikku ga undali. Such type of fraction is called as a proper fraction. So, for example, if you consider a small example I am taking, x plus 2 by x square minus 3x plus 6. 
let it be the a small proper fraction I return. So if you see here in the numerator the power of x is 1. Why? Because nothing is present we can treat it as 1. And x power 1 on the and the power of chi wakati. And come to the denominator, it is 2. And the numerator low degree of chi 1 now, denominator degree of chi 2. And the numerator low degree anedi, denominator kana tapuga undi kavati, it is called as a proper fraction. So, such a type of rational function is called as a proper fraction. So, some other example if you want, let it be 2x square minus 5x plus 7 by x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 into x plus 4. So, let it be, this is the another example I written. If you clearly understood the concept, because always not possible to give in this fashion. Sometimes they can express as a factors. Here the numerator is having highest power is 2. And the numerator will maximum power is 2 only. But denominator is not properly written. So if you think of it, if you consider the first terms only, and the first bracket lo ikkada x kanipistundi second bracket lo 2x undi third bracket lo kuda x undi if you multiply only the first terms what we get x into 2x is 2x square 2x square into x is 2x cube that is the maximum power we get after if you multiply any other terms also we get less than that x cube so now the denominator is having the maximum power of 3 and the numerator is 2 and which satisfies our condition. So this is meant meaning of proper fraction. Then what is actual or topic? Partial fractions. So you know very well partial is nothing but a word that is taken from the word part. Part. Part and me. General Bagam and a work of fraction the Bagaluga Vedavutadam. It is resolving into separate parts, is called as a partial fractions. In other words, what we can say is the sum of the proper fractions is equal to the given fraction, then that fractions are said to be partial fractions. And I'm making a clear garden cover and a example So 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3. So which is a proper fraction according to the definition what we written here. Because the power nothing is there here that is 0 x power. Here if you multiply x and x we are getting x square. And the denominator lo 2 on the power, numerator lo 0. And the numerator on the tapu on the denominator on the echo. So, it is an example. Nero, I am writing the answer as 1 by x minus 2 minus 1 by, not 1 by, x minus 3 it is minus 1 by x minus 2. So I am saying that these are the resolved factors. And the dhani rendu ga veda kodda nenu. Adi karakta kaadha nenu manak teriyar and what we want to do is we have to take the LCM. A LCM kaan tis koli manam simplify chesne bhi ka idea hoosthu. Chuddha. What is the answer here? x minus 3 into x minus 2. But the end of the term is easy to multiply the cross multiply method. If only two terms are present, then we can write the answer as 1 by x minus 3 into x minus 2. 
multiply the denominators and that end to multiply chase rasam just cross multiplication method so 1 into x minus 2 is x minus 2 this minus undi this is the same thing minus into x is minus x minus into minus 3 is plus 3 if we simplify one plus x one minus x gets cancelled 3 minus 2 which is nothing but 1 we are also having 1 in the numerator and then if I put is equal to between them that is satisfied well and then the other main and then one proper fraction ni rendu proper fractions ni one sum ga raya gariya mu if you write like that that process of resolving is called partial fractions idhi mana topic yoga introduction so meiru screenshot e dhanna tisko garite tisko uchu then we go to the what are the types of partial fractions and a partial fraction ni kanukko ne ta dhanna method se mi yala kanukko uchu and we already yala ko traditional methods ni etch ko ne uttaru in your regular course इकड मनम objective चेयाले का बट्टी वीलुन नांत वरको मनम objective का चेयाले की speed का अंटे doing the solution as quick as possible अधी चुद्ध so we take the the second part that is nothing but the how to find the partial fractions of a proper fraction 